questions for the 6 through 50 of the ACT 2017-18 free math test. A container is full of water. After 10 cups of water are added, the container is 3 quarter full. What is the volume of the container in cups? So we start off with 1 eighth and after 10 cups of water, we have 3 quarter full. Now, what we can see here is that the difference between 3 quarters and 1 eighth represents the fraction of the number of cups of water. So we look at 3 fourths minus 1 eighth. So let's do this. We're going to change the common denominator to 8 for both of them. 4 times 2 is 8, so 3 times 2 is 6. And then 1 right here. So this is 5 eighths. So what we have in this case is that 5 eighths of the container is equal to 10 cups. So now we want to find out what the volume of the container is in cups. So here we're going to multiply 5 eighths by 8 over 5, which is the inverse of this number. And we also multiply 10 cups by 8 over 5. So this is going to give us 1, which represents a full container. It's going to give us 80 divided by 5, which is 16 cups. And our answer right here is J. Only 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students attend Washington High School. The ratio of 10th graders to the school's total population is 86 to 255, and the ratio of 11th grade students 11th graders to the school's total population is 18 to 51. If one student is chosen at random from the entire school, which grade is that student most likely to be in? So let's look at 10th graders, 11th graders, and 12th graders. So based on this, we can see that the ratio of the 10th graders to the school's population is 86 to 255. So that means we have 255 students in the school and 86 of them are 10th graders. Now for 11th graders, we have 18 to 51. So we have 18 to 51 is going to be x over 255. That will give us the exact value of the number of 11th graders. So we multiply 51 by 5, so let's go here, 51x equal to 18 multiplied by 255. So we divide by 51, here we divide by 51, so x is 18 multiplied by 5, which is 90. So that gives us there 90 11th graders. So the total number of 12th graders is going to be 255, so 12th graders. Is going to be 255 minus the sum of 86 and 90, which is 255 minus 176. And just the way I believe this should be done, we're going to try to do it by without a calculator, 176. So 15 minus 6, let's take 4 from here, 1 here, so it's 15 minus 6 is. 9, 14 minus 7, or 4 minus 7 is unknown, so we take 1 from there, and so 14 minus 7 is 17. So here we have 79 12th graders. Now the question is asking, if a student is chosen at random from the entire school, which grade is that student most likely to be in? The grade the student is most likely to be in is going to be represented by the grade with the largest or the, with the largest number of students. Here we see that is the 11th grade. So that's going to be B because the 11th grade has more students than the 10th and 12th grades. Now we have 4 divided by root 2 plus 2 divided by root 3. 
what we're going to do here is we're going to look for a low least common denominator. So let's do that. We have root 3, root 2. And here, for this specific fraction here, we multiply root 2 by root 3 to get to our least common denominator. So we're going to multiply 4 also by root 3. Plus, in this case, we have, so we have root 3, root 2. In this case, we multiply root 3 by root 2. So we're going to multiply 2 also by root 2. So this is going to give us 4 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 2 divided by the product of root 3 and root 2, which is going to give us 4 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 2 divided by the square root of 6. And we have G as our answer. So the shaded region in the graph below represents the solution set to which of the following systems of inequalities. Here are a few things we're going to try to do. So we have x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared and we have 9 on this side. An important thing, what makes this question a little bit easier to work with is that the origin is given as a point in the region that is acceptable or that satisfies both inequalities. So we're going to use 0 as the x value. So the origin is the point at 0, 0. So the easiest way to go about this is we're going to plug in 0, 0 in each of these equations and see which of these inequalities will be, uh, will be acceptable. So 0 minus 1 squared plus 0 minus 2 squared, and then we have 9 here. So 1 squared plus 2 squared, we have 9. So 1 plus 4, we have 9. So 5, we have 9. Which inequality would be best right here? 5 is less than 9. So let's go to the second inequality. We still have 0, 0. Y is equal to minus x plus 2. So because it's an inequality, we don't know what that is going to be. Minus x plus 2. So we have, using the origin, we have 0 is equal to, actually we don't know what the inequality is. So we have 0 and then we have minus 0 plus 2. So 0 is less than 2. So in this case, we have x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is less than 9. So we can easily cross out everything else that doesn't have that. And then we have y is less than minus x plus 2. So that's going to give us option A. So here we can find the volume of, a, of an irregularly shaped solid object by completely submerging it in water and calculating the volume of water the object displaces. You completely submerge a solid object in a rectangular tank that has a base 40 centimeters by 30 centimeters and is filled with water to a depth of 20 centimeters. If the object sinks to the bottom and the water level goes up by 0.25 centimeters. What is the volume in cubic centimeters? So the volume is going to be length multiplied by width multiplied by height. In this case, the length 40 centimeters, the width is 30 centimeters. Here we can say either height or depth because that represents the amount of water that is in the container. So in this case, we've seen that the amount of water or the water level goes up by 0 0.25 centimeters. So that's going to be the depth of the, that's, that's the depth that that object is responsible for in that container. So this is going to give us times 30 times, just make it 1 over 4 cross this out this gives us 10 10 times 30 that is 300 cubic centimeters and that is going to give us f